Hi, I'm Chef Mike with Wustoff Trident of America, and I've got this rainbow trout here. We've got a great recipe for a pan-fried rainbow trout, and what we're going to do today is we're going to use the new Grand Prix fillet knife from Wustoff to do this. Um, what's neat about this knife is how sharp it is, especially at the tip. We're going to use this knife almost as a surgeon would use a scalpel. I'm going to hold it a little differently like this. We're going to come to the inside of this rainbow trout here, and we're going to make a cut along the back. So we're going to go right along the ribs. We're going to separate the ribs from the backbone. And we're going to do that all the way down. So we just take the tip of the knife. You can probably hear it working on the backbone there. We keep going all the way down. I'm going to stay on this side of that dorsal fin, or this, this back fin here. I guess it's not the dorsal. We're going to go all the way down. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to the head. We're going to make a little cut here so to lay this flat. Then we're just going to clean up this little bit in here. Then from here, all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start seasoning the filet. We're going to take a little bit of Old Bay. In the Old Bay, all's, we don't really want to step on the flavor of this trout. Trout has a really tremendous, fresh, nice, crisp flavor. So we're just kind of trying to bring that out. And this little bit of seasoning will do that without really stepping on the flavor of the fish. We're going to do both sides here. One neat thing about the trout is you can crisp the skin up and eat the skin. It's actually very good. We're going to take off these fins right here on either side. Then we're just going to use a seasoned flour for this. We're going to give it a nice liberal coating. And in the seasoned flour, we just have some black pepper, some seasoning salt. Once again, we don't want to add a whole bunch of stuff to this. We want the fish to speak for itself. Now the fish is ready to pan fry. But what we're going to do is we're also going to add just a little bit of fresh seasonings to this, fresh herbs. So we just want to, I've got some chives here to give it a little background flavor, some fresh parsley, and a little bit of fresh thyme. And we're just going to take this and we're going to add it to our butter sauce. And what that's going to do is just kind of pick up, the butter sauce is going to pick up the flavor of these fresh herbs and kind of pull everything together. We want to start with a preheated pan. We want the pan good and hot. And then we're going to add some butter. Oh, about two tablespoons or so of butter. And we're going to cut that with just a little bit of olive oil. We're going to let that spread in the pan and make sure that's good and hot. Then we're going to take our rainbow trout and we're going to put it flesh side down first, right into the pan. All right, we want to give it about three or four minutes on this side, then we flipped it over. We want to take it out of the pan. You got to be careful here because this is really light and flaky and would like to break on, for, on you. We'll get it up, put it on the plate here. I'm going to set that aside and we're going to make our sauce. The little bit of flour that was on the fish is going to help thicken the sauce. So we're just going to add some white wine to this. Just about a half cup or so. We're going to add lemon juice. Squeeze a lemon in here. Then we're going to bring in our fresh herbs. Throw that in there. We'll give it a shake here. We're going to let this reduce down and this will thicken up nice. Then we're going to add just a little bit of butter to this sauce. We're just going to let that reduce for about a minute, maybe two minutes here until it's nice and thick. All right, the sauce is reduced down enough now. We're just going to take it off the heat, put it on the back, and now we're going to remove the bones. Now to do the bones, all you need to do is grab that backbone. We took the head off, put that to the side, grab that backbone, and slowly start peeling up. Now I'm going to use this part of the knife to gently pull the bones up. And as we go, we'll just keep pulling these bones out all the way down.
We'll pull that out. And if there's any remaining bones, there's a few here that I missed on the rib, we'll just slowly cut those out right here. Then we want to do the same on the other side. There's a few rib bones here that we're going to want to cut out. We're just going to gently pull those up with the tip of the knife. Pull these bones out. Now you could fillet this beforehand, but it's pretty hard to get these bones. They're really delicate. When you cook it up, it firms up the flesh a little bit and holds everything in place for you. Now we're going to take that juice from the pan and we're going to put it back over the fish here. And when we do that, we're going to use that, uh, that flour that was in there and stuff is going to coat the fish. All right, now I'm ready to sauce the rainbow trout. And all we're going to do is start on one end. We're going to take this pan drippings, put it right over the top, evenly distribute it. We're just going to go ahead and garnish this with a lemon spiral. A little bit of fresh parsley. Here we have pan-fried rainbow trout. Wustoff, defining the edge. <laughs>